Hello guys, me Elf at ElfNet Designs and Communications and today we have another GR1225 and there's a story why I bought this radio off of eBay. <laughs> um, but first we're going to go into what some of the things about the radio. Uh, one, you see I got a yellow cord plugged into it that is going to rib which is going to program which we will read. Now, I've already programmed this radio but we are going to <coughs> read it out because I need to check the power on this. I didn't check the power on it. Radio successful and we will go there's the mode radio wide clone there is Read radio for Let's continue. Yes, <clears throat> the radio I programmed at uh, 462.55, which is a GMRS frequency, is is a repeater. All right, now what am I doing? Transmit power adjustment. Low power, high power. Okay, good enough. All right, so what we're doing here is got it interfaced. I've got connected one over here. Got watt meter. Watt meter is then going to dummy load. Okay. I also may need a microphone. What did I do with it? There it is. over there <clears throat> microphone just in case <coughs> transmit frequency 456.9 well let's turn it up and see is this going to work or no uh, yeah we're about um, let's turn it off. I like doing this with the actual um, microphone because I'm actually on the right frequency. I am going through a duplexer, of course. <clears> through <throat> the duplexer on the right frequency, it could stand a little more stick, couldn't it? Um, High power. Low power. Write it in. Write the value. I'll run it up just a little bit. <clears throat> and then, uh, 95 to 108. And then, Jesus Christ. See if it creeped up a little bit on me. Oh yeah, it's coming up at about 30 watts. Just about 30 watts on it. Let's uh, go up a little more here. I'm gonna go 120. See what that does. <coughs> power level is high. It's not in low power mode, so. I didn't program a low power mode on it. Alright, so through a duplexer, uh, about 30 watts. That's not bad. I mean, it's not terribly good either, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. <coughs> so we'll leave it there. We will leave the power. Back in. I will close, save the information, <coughs> and I'll read the radio for programming and show you that stuff. This radio, I paid about $350 for it on eBay, and this is a donation radio. This radio I'm donating to a local. 
charity organization so they can have communications when they're out doing fundraising events <coughs> things like that they do have a GMRS license I did go through the process with them on that um, and uh, here's the frequency is program 462.55 no signaling For security reasons, I'm not going to show you the actual channel information. Um, it's clone. This is radio wide. This is, and is signaling. No signaling. Well, here's the channel. If I fuck it, you know the chances of you figuring out who it is is slim to none. But set up as unidirectional repeater, flat audio, and or. Power up mode is a standard. Priority permanent on hook. Repeater hang time one second. Option button none. Repeat enable on. <coughs> Option board none. We're not doing CWID or signaling because they're not going to be using it full time 24 7. <coughs> Only at live events and things like that. Um, Courtesy tone, no, I can't stand courtesy tones, and I don't understand the logic of people who do, so. All right. That's what's currently in the radio, just double checking. And you're done there. And you're okay there. So they're not getting my microphone, of course. The radio didn't come with one. I did, however, make up a monitor plug. It's just that there. And that will go right there. <coughs> that, that simulates the mic being on the hook. <coughs> um, so yeah, there's no doubt this radio is due at 40 watts. Um, going through duplexer, there is loss. We're about 32 watts coming out of it or so, 30, 32 watts, which is plenty of power. Um, it is very clean radio. Uh, did not come with a duplexer, but I already had one on the shelf that was already on this frequency. Um, let's, let's see, they're getting this radio, and I got some handhelds somewhere. I do with these handhelds. Uh, some high terra. <clears throat> That's not the ones I need. I think they're in the drawer down here in the batteries. So we're looking down here. Yeah, here it, it's a handheld like this. It's a Vertex standard. There's so much crap. Anyway. I'm giving them eight VX180s with chargers, new batteries, new antennas programmed to match onto this. <coughs> um, they're getting a whole new radio system donated to them this evening. So that's what I do. I have a problem giving money <coughs> directly to these things because... You know, they want to raise money for <laughs> a cat that's going nuts. <clears throat> they want to raise money for things like this. And instead of me giving them two, three, five thousand dollars <clears throat> what they wanted to raise, I'm just going to give them the equipment. And, you know, I just, because I like to know where my money is going. And this way, I know where the money went. <coughs> I don't give money blindly. I'm, I'm sorry. I just am not that way. I'm very cautious with that. And in this economy, I can't afford to be financially irresponsible and blindly give money to a charity that needs it for something. I have to see results. You, I, I'm a person that needs to see results. I... You know, mama raised me right, you know, make sure you know where your money's going. <clears throat> so I would rather take the money 
and buy the equipment <coughs> they're also getting a small antenna that's a little fiberglass UHF antenna a run of coax and a uh, deal they can put the antenna on it's actually a <coughs> it's like a, a tripod type deal with a big aluminum pole um, they're getting that they're getting the coax the fittings the radio the programming the setup and I'm gonna walk everybody through how to use all of this this is going to stay with the whatever inside whatever building and they're gonna have portables <coughs> um, they don't need mobiles as far as I know but yeah for my time services programming plus equipment easily covered what they wanted to, to raise and yeah and I know where the money's going so <clears throat> this is going to be delivered this evening I got to get all the portables together I know they're already programmed I put them in a box somewhere the one you just saw was a broken radio for parts that's not one of the ones but they might already be out in the truck but anyway GR1225 about to go in service this evening and I am Elf, ElfNet Designs and Communications and I also have a gaming channel you know on the same channel I also do that but yeah I'll see you guys later